custom world. So join them each Saturday at 9 a.m. Pacific and go in the garage with Bodie Stroud. Brought to you by Steel Rubber Products. Products made with the same care and commitment you see in every BS Hot Rod and Custom. Need more information? Visit crntalk.com, steelrubber.com, or bshotrods.com. We're back here on the PM show with Robert Conrad. I'm Ray Holdridge sitting in for Michael Horn. Bob, how are you feeling today? It's your voice, but like, if, I, I know Ray, you know. You do and, know me. And he's, I know that he's doing the radio show. He's talking like this. This is how I talk. No, it isn't, Ray. This Come is on, how talk, I talk. Talk like you talk. How many voices do you want me to throw out there? Uh, that one. That one will work. Now, <laughs> let's talk to Becky. Becky, you there? Are you there, my darling? I sure am. How are you? Oh, did you hear my chat with the Sue? Yes, I did. Did you hear me congratulate her on that beautiful card that uh, she was kind enough to send me? Yes. And your name was on it? Yes. But you were second oh, build. You were second yes. build. How are you doing? Oh, well. Oh, well. How are you doing, doing, girl? I'm doing fine. And Good. you? Don't email me because I send back nasty responses. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, uh, oh. Come on now. <laughs> yeah. All right. Anyway, you got to have a sense of humor. Okay. I know. Um, uh, yeah. I've got actually two quick questions. Go, baby. First is, what number are you tonight? Uh, I came in a seven, dropped down to a five, and now I'm up to an eight. Oh, good. Okay. Good, good. good. All right. And my second question is, how did the part, how did uh, you happen to come on the part when you were, when you played cell phone, Just Shoot Me? How did I come up on the part of Just Shoot Me? Yeah, did they contact you with well, the they, idea? Yeah, they wrote it for me. So it was easy to do because it was all about Robert Conrad. I played myself. Mm-hmm. Did you enjoy it? Oh, I loved it. Yeah, it was so much fun. Yeah, it really was. It was a wonderful crew and... Uh, I loved working with him, and it was live, and that was exciting because I hadn't done live stuff for a while. So, yeah, I enjoyed it very much. Okay. Okay. Okay, sweetie. Well, you take care. All right. Thanks, sweetie. Love you, baby. Have, have, love you, too. Have a good weekend. Okay, thanks a lot, too. Becky. Bye-bye. Bye. Don't, don't tell Jerry. That's, that's her <laughs> husband. <laughs> From Mississippi. We, we don't want Jerry to know anything. Uh, but he doesn't care. He works on his car all the time. <laughs> all right. Now, uh, let's talk to Kathy in New York. Kathy, how you doing? Good. How are you? Good. What's up, baby? I'm just sitting here watching you on the radio. <laughs> oh, cool. I love it. I look right at that radio and say, how are you, my girl? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say I just think it's very generous of you to take your time to be on this radio program, giving people the opportunity to call and talk with you. That is the most generous thing, and I want to say thank you. Well, you know, I appreciate it. You know what I really appreciate is you understand why I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I don't get. I don't make make. I make chump change in, in in money, but it's not about the money. It's about being able to reach out and say to people who have supported your career, thank you, and you're one of those people. So thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. All right. Anything else, my darling? No, that's it. You take care of yourself and. Talk to you again. All right. Thanks for the call. Okay. Thanks a lot, Kathy. Isn't that sweet? Okay. Now, I have written to you before, but I want to write to you again. I want to tell you how much I admire you, and you are so Something. handsome. Ooh. Oh. And talented. I love the Wild West Black Sheep. I wish to be able to talk to you soon on your radio. I'm so glad to hear that you have a radio show. I will try to call on Thursday to call from 6, uh, my time in Florida. I love you, Marilyn. Marilyn, we're uh, going to commercial. So if you're out there, give me a call, baby. Bye-bye. Do we have any lines open, Ray? Uh, right now we actually have no lines open again. Oh, Gosh. nuts. Well, Every we'll, time we'll I look faster. at that, we'll you're talk, packed up. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll talk faster. We, we got we to gotta keep moving to keep all this line going. <laughs> Bob, I'm always amazed by how packed the lines are every time we get on the show with you. Well, I'm glad they are because that means we've got friends out there that are wanting to be a part of our show. Exactly. And now we have in the middle the woman who wants her niece to be a star, the French woman, Monique. 
Yeah, we got Rocky in the studio too. Yeah, we got Rocky and say something to uh, Rocky in uh, in French. Quick, in French. quick. Well, R- Rocky, you're the best <laughs> and meilleur. <laughs> oui. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. Rocky, huh? you're the best. <laughs> I thought Bob Conrad was.